DBFM Entertainment DBFM Entertainment Your brain is for show, man Your brain is for show, man DBFM Entertainment Good morning It is July 13th May look like a normal day But in reality river in Gurney. It's about 11 feet. It's pretty much tied with the record for the highest flood ever. Luckily, I work in Gurney. So, I'm going to work and I'm bringing my kayak. The river is expected to reach up to 12 feet. That's crazy. Never seen it that high. The highest I've ever paddled the flood was in mid April of 2013, and then it was 11.2 feet, which was the third highest on record. This is supposed to be the all time record. This is crazy. not committing any crime. Go on kayaking, bruh. Happening. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. All right. So I just went and looked over there. Coast is clear. I don't see any police in the park there, and it's flooded. You can tell the whole park's flooded. There's some people at the skate park too, so I feel like it's kind of like low key about people being over there. So still, still want to get all this done. I want to get all this done and out of the way and out of here before anybody shows up to tell me otherwise. They didn't tell me nothing. Can't say I can't be here. like crazy holy this is gonna be insane I think it's flooded all the way across Kilbourne Road this is insane I gotta get to Grand Avenue I'm sure the cops are not gonna like that oh, damn I'm getting there this is this is insane <laughs> Woo! yes Woo this is happening I'm doing it I'm doing this man this this is happening I ain't uh I'm doing it Woo. I don't know if I'm gonna be expecting trouble. But I'm not waiting to find out. I'm, uh, I'm getting out there, man. I'm doing it. Oh yeah. Let's get these socks off, man. Oh yeah. Come on, let's get this going. All right. Yeah. All right. Putting on those water shoes. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. All right. All right. Yes. This is crazy. I mean, this is just crazy. Look at this. Oh my God, it's, <laughs> it's 
like a foot deep here. This is insane. Oh god, Grand Avenue's gonna be fucked. I feel really bad for everyone that's flooded right now. But you know what? I'm a kayaker. And this is what I live for, man. This is awesome. You can see the sign over there, that yellow sign, that's Kilbourne Road. That's flooded. Which means I'm pretty much in the clear. There's gonna be no cars coming around telling me what I can and can't do. This is freaking awesome. The Rudd House was a, uh, a reported stop on the Underground Railroad. We toured it when I was in Boy Scouts. Oh god, this is freaking awesome. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, welcome everybody to uh, Viking Park or Esper, Esper Peterson Park, I think it's called. AKA Floods McGee. <laughs> oh god, this is crazy. This is awesome. This sucks for everybody else, but this is awesome. <laughs> oh my god, this is Grand Avenue. There's a, I see a, a squad up there. I have to make sure I don't, <laughs> I don't get too close. <laughs> Just can't have anybody ruining my fun. How's it going? You catch anything? Oh. Yeah? This is crazy. I've never seen it like this. I think the cops yelling at me. Probably. I just gotta stay away. They can't get to me. So this is the depth key building. Oh man, this is crazy. Yeah, I could like totally see that that cop lady was back there and I couldn't hear her, but I'm pretty sure she wanted to talk to me. <laughs> she was just kind of like sternly <laughs> walking this way and facing me. But uh, nah bro, ain't about that life right now. Care to take a load off? All right, so I'll come back to here because I have to on my way back anyway. But uh, I'm gonna get out. This is insane, this is awesome. This sucks for everybody else. Oh. This is the life, man, I tell you. Alright, so I'm gonna hike back a little bit. So this is Kilbourne Road here. That's grand out in the distance. This is the bike path. And you might be able to see like the water shimmering up there. That's where the river begins again. That's the actual river that's where the river actually is obviously it's here now too so i'm gonna try to get through that i'm gonna see if i can get underneath old uh underneath grand avenue and get to the other side and then go check out what the flooding's like over there but i'm definitely coming back to this on my way back this is awesome this is this is tight i'll tell you the first 10 15 seconds you have the kayak on you're like i could do this for a while by 30 seconds you're like shit Apparently I lost a shoe. 
There you go, buddy. Back to your home. But you know we're going to try it. Which way do I want to go? Do I want to go north or south? It's like no room for mistake in here. So I'm underneath Grand Avenue right now. It's probably a cop like right up there or something. So I'm gonna try and hug as close as I can to the side so I don't get seen. I feel like I'm infiltrating the Viet Cong or something. Again, we gotta be stealthy. It can't be obvious that we're here. It's a big beaver. seriousness when the river is flooded especially extremely flooded like this it really is much safer and calmer than it would be say than it would be say if you know it was normal level or even low when it's low the river is running really fast when it's high like this the Desplaines River has such a high floodplain so when you think of a trial and the river's normally right here once it spills over and starts flooding now it's it's spread out over such a long area and if you noticed earlier when I was paddling and I was paddling in some low water and there's ground, you know, just a couple inches underneath the water, there's a lot of drag that's created. So it actually ends up slowing down the flow of the river. So for the most part, I'm in a big lake right now. I just have to stay clear of that cop lady. I aren't exactly uh, doing their job. Let me see if I can get over there. So some of you guys may have seen some of the footage and pictures I took from the flood in 2013. There used to be a big jungle gym here and I actually used that as like my, my dock. It's hanging out there for a while. They tore that down a couple years ago, unfortunately. I don't know what the name of this park is. Oh, it's Gull Beach. How do I not know that? trying to find somewhere to sneak in here. I've actually never paddled back here, so this will be kind of fun. Well, technically I did. When Gal Beach was still open, I was on a paddle boat, and I was back here. But I was like three or four, I don't even know. I was a younger man. What is that there? Oh, uh, I think that's one of their, uh... No, that's a canoe. I was just eating an apple and I crunched down pretty hard on my cheek. Tastes great. Here it's pretty obvious it's flooded, but you know what I mean, like, like catastrophe looking flood, you know, like the hardcore, yeah, that extreme stuff, woo, woo. Nice. Easily 
to get some hammocks up in here. No problem. So what do you guys think so far? Is this not tight? This is DBFM Entertainment. We do it real. No. And in all reality, though, this is really cool. I always love kayaking the floods. It's just it's the coolest time. I mean, when can I be? When else can I be sitting in a baseball field, in the uh, in some team's dugout, chilling on my kayak? And there's a. Uh, actually, I don't know how much water's underneath. Let's see. So, right here, the water went down to about this level. So that's foot and a couple inches maybe. It's pretty legit. But the coolest thing was when uh, when Fashomane and I was going through this field, and um, it was during 2011, big blizzard of 2011. This field was three feet of snow, and along along the edges here by where the trees are, there were like three and a half, four foot drifts, and the winds just blowing, and the snow is just piling and piling, and we're trudging through it. Man, that was some fun stuff, I tell you. It's all fun, though. You know, extreme conditions is where where fun stuff's at. If it's not extreme, you ain't doing it right. Just kidding. Saw, dude. Hey, look, a cone. Nifty. Peace out, bro. All right, so I'm gonna paddle a little bit. It's gonna take me a while to get back over there. I'll catch up with you guys in a second. Side. You guys getting wet back there? Watch the slippery surface. It's good day. Thanks for coming along. So that's the mother rut house I was talking about. This is Kilbourne. I guess this is Old Grand here. I actually didn't know that because it doesn't connect. There, you see the barricades there. It doesn't connect all the way through to Old Grand. But I guess it just shares the same name. So I'm gonna try to get out to that gazebo straight ahead and uh, hang out there for a minute. Eat my other apple, just chill. Think about what I wanna do. And then I'll probably do another sweep along the flooded area and then uh, head back to the park and make my way back. This is really dope. So yesterday I went uh, I went down Old Grand here, turned on the Grand so I could go ahead to Ace Hardware so I could get an extension cord to hook up the sum pump to the neighbor's electricity. Long story. Did I have such an awful experience dealing with a rude gurney police officer. I digress. This isn't about police right now, this is about kayaking.
like, uh, that's what I look like. That's really what people see when I'm just like walking around or just doing shit. Sod it. Sod it. My boat. Let's go check some shit out. JRT, junkware removal tool. Sod it. Ahead, there's the police officer where I kind of turned onto the depot road. Trying to get past all them. Damn. That's what's up. You got the high ground. I hope no one's got no mail. It's just crazy, man. This is this is the street. This is my street here. I don't live here, but you know, this, this is old ground. I take this every day to work. To work, to the bank. No mail today. Yeah, there's a group of police officers dead ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and not go over there. You guys doing okay? Yeah, we're good. Good. Oh boy. Yeah, the dude, they're, oh shit. <laughs> Glass of wine. This is just absolutely crazy, man. I think there's a couple of news guys back there. I think they were taking videos or pictures off to take a look and see. Celebrity. How's it going? Uh, not not too bad. What's that? Yeah. Although I don't want to get too far that way. I don't want them to tell me I can't be out here or something. All right. That's what I figure as long as I keep my distance. So, so, what's going on? It's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. And that's almost 8 o'clock, so I probably should start heading back. It's going to take me like probably 15 minutes to get back to the field, and then I got to hike the kayak to the car. I'm going to go ahead and dip set out of this. But, uh, yeah, all of the time. I saw that thing flying around, I didn't know whose that was. Yeah, yeah, it's ABC, man. Oh, nice to see you. Yeah, yeah. Which way are you going to go? Um, I'm going to probably head out back there, like, kind of around to the right towards the barbershop. Okay, all right. Let me, uh, get her locked up, and then, uh, I'll get right down. Okay.
Now, Kathy and Ravi, we're standing in front of Gurney Community Church, where for two days volunteers have laid sandbags. At this hour last night, behind me was a parking lot. Tonight, it looks more like a pond. At sunset in Gurney, travel along this stretch of Route 132 near Plain is best done by kayak.